Hi, I'm Tess Gunty, and I'll be reading from the opening of my novel. On a hot night in apartment C4, Blondine Watkins exits her body. She's only 18 years old, but she spent most of her life wishing for this to happen. The agony is sweet, as the mystics promised. It's like your soul is being stabbed with light, the mystics said, and they were right about that too. The mystics call this experience the transverberation of the heart, or the seraph's assault, but no angel appears to Blondine. There is, however, a bioluminescent man in his 50s, glowing like a firefly. He runs to her and yells. Knife, cotton, hoof, bleach, pain, fur, bliss. As Blondine exits herself, she is all of it. She is every tenant of her apartment building. She is trash and cherub, a rubber shoe on the seafloor, her father's orange jumpsuit, a brush raking through her mother's hair, the first and last Zorn automobile factory in Vacaville, Indiana, a nucleus inside the man who robbed her body when she was 14, a pair of red glasses on the face of her favorite librarian, a radish tugged from a, a bed of dirt. She is no one. She is Katie, the Portuguese water dog, who licked her face whenever the Foster family banished them both in the snow because they were in the way. An algorithm for amplified content and a blue slushie from the gas station. The first pair of tap shoes on the feet of a, a child actress and the man telling her to try harder. She is the smartphone that films her as she bleeds on the floorboards of her apartment and she is the chipped nail polish on the teenager who assembled the 90th step of that phone on a green factory floor in Shenzhen, China. An American satellite, a bad word, the ring on the finger of her high school theater director. She is every cottontail rabbit grazing on the vegetation of her supposedly dying city. 10 minutes of pleasure igniting between the people who made her, the final tablet of oxycodone on her mother's tongue the gavel that will sentence the boys to prison for what they're doing to her right now. There is no such thing as right now. She is not another young woman wounded on the floor, body slashed by men for its resources. No, she is paying attention. She is the last laugh. On that hot night in apartment C4, when Blondine Watkins exits her body, she is not everything, not exactly. She's just the opposite of nothing. <laughs>